Hey, uh, good afternoon everyone. This is Steve from the Worldly Bogger. It is a beautiful September 15th day, 2023. Standing here on the banks of the river, the Yakima River at Reinhardt Park. And if you've been following us on our YouTube channel or website, you can see how much different the river looks. Especially uh, those that follow us weekly and I shoot my report from uh, Reinhardt quite a bit. You can see how much the river has dropped just in the last couple of weeks so through the flip-flop. She has flopped. It's official. So yeah, beautiful river's in beautiful condition. Step down here and Nice and low now, really, really nice, easy, slow speeds as opposed to summer. You know, summer's great. You know, it's just a different type of fishing. It's faster, quicker. Of course, there's bigger volumes of water, so there's a lot more going on. Once the river drops like this and recedes, you know, the fish really get potted up in really specific water. Especially as it stays warm right now, it's about 85 degrees and we got a little warm spell over the weekend Gonna be uh, about the same or or a little bit war warmer but even predicting maybe some 90 degree temperatures so so yeah, even if you're floating the river now You know a lot of a lot of obstacles, you know a lot of rocks and logs you know and other other hazards in the river that were buried under uh, those big summer flows you know are now visible and sticking up you know so especially right here under right Reinhardt there's a bunch of uh, bridge pilings from the old bridge you know stuff like that that you have to really you know keep an eye out for keep a heads up you know so you don't uh, cause any damage to your boat or worse so uh, bug wise things that are happening you know of course we're right smack dab in the middle of uh, the short wing stonefly hatch so still a lot of stoneflies around big females flying around in the afternoons go right along the rocks here I'm sure if we're able to kick a few of these over you'll see Stone flies. But yeah, lots of stone flies around, so you can fish big dries, you know. Here. Great in the afternoons. Start seeing those big females flying around. There's uh, there's a lot of smaller caddis. You know, tan, size 16, 18. And they're munching those pretty good. Especially in the upper river, up around Clay Elm area. And through the through the upper farmlands, Greenbridge area, a lot of lot of smaller caddis happening. And then of course, you know, the crane fly fishing. You know, just starting to see a lot of crane flies on the water, so they're gonna be around for you know the next week week and a half two weeks so we'll be we'll be doing lots of lots of lots of crane fly fishing and then kind of sporadic mayflies we're seeing them but with this warmer temperature not really a great not really a great day for for mayfly fishing with as bright and sunny as what it is but yeah there's definitely some caddis flying around here uh, we got a lot of really good blue wing olive fishing coming. I mean, we're just starting into our fall fishing here this 15th of September. So, lots of really, really good October fishing with blue wings and October caddis happening. We'll be on the tail end of uh, salmon spawning. So, we'll have spring chinook in the river. They're now, you know, marching to uh, the spawning grounds. 
So they'll, they'll be spawning over the next couple of weeks in places, so you can look for that if you like that type of fishing. And then uh, we'll have returns of coho coming back in October. And then having them spawning in late October, early November. So still a lot of good fishing to be had here for the, for the start of fall. I will let you know that uh, the game patrols, fish and game, have been out using a drone on the river. Checking uh, licenses, checking barbed hooks. Uh, their report is that they're finding lots of fly fishermen that are using barbed hooks. So, just a reminder, the Yakima is a single barbless, catch and release, no bait fishery, selective gear. So... What that means is you have to uh, smash the barb on any barbed flies. So make sure that it's uh, that's good and smashed because they're checking those. Flying the drone up and down the river. Nate got checked the other day here at, at Reinhardt Park. And of course, he was fishing legally. All right, just a heads up for that. Make sure that you have uh, your access decal sticker or your discover pass at launch sites because they'll cite you for that too of course river's nice and low now so if you want to come and wade of course boating much much slower pace but yeah absolutely fantastic condition so just a reminder too we're now uh, we're open seven days a week at the fly shop so open on sundays open at eight o'clock so if you need to swing in, grab some goodies. Shop's all stocked up and Nate will help you with whatever you want. So, so this is the uh, rough boat launch here too. At Reinhardt. So it's a, you're gonna take out here, it's a little bit easier. And that will come in at some point and stack these rocks back up. Oh, there's a big old stonefly flying around there. Just, you know, also, you know, we've been around a long time, almost 30 years here, so uh, that's kind of a tough week. Good friend of mine, fellow fly fishing guide that did a bunch of trips for us early on in our in our opening, Joe Towler, great friend, great guy, passed away on Monday. At a very young age of 60, Joe, we're going to miss you, buddy. We'll see you in the fishing grounds. Everybody have a great week. Get out, do some fall fishing. Give us a call at the Pro Shop. Uh, do you have any questions?